Another way to apply payments to a layaway payment or an installment payment is through the contact screen. Let me show you an example. I am going to sell something. I'm going to sell this Birds of Paradise to myself and I'm going to put it on layaway. Uh, let's do a period of five months once a month. Okay, so let's say that the customer has left and a week or two later he comes back in or whenever he comes back in and wants to make a payment. I'll look him up by his name and then I will go to the payments tab and click on the apply payment. Uh, here it is showing me how much he owes every month. Let's say this guy comes in and he wants to pay $4,073.60, the exact amount of his first payment. I'm going to type in $4,073.60 in the amount paid, press tab a couple times, and say how he's going to pay me. Uh, let's say he's going to do it by uh, check. So what I have to do now is click on the amount paid section right in here, or double click in here, to apply the payment to this month. So I'm going to double click, and that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. So it applied it to one month. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close this, and let's say he comes back again and wants to make another payment. Uh, look him up again. Go to the Payments tab here. Click Apply Payment. And this time he's going to pay me a little bit more. He's going to give me $5,000. Now I'm going to press tab, uh, pick the pay type again. Let's say he's paying me in cash this time. And now I'm going to double click on the, it's usually the, the next one in session. Uh, of course, for whatever reason, it could be another month. Uh, but typically it's the first one. So I'm going to double click on this line here. And it's going to say, it's going to put in the exact amount of the amount due. However, he paid 5000 so some of that money is going to apply to the next payment. So I'm going to double click on the next line and then I got to double click on the third line to generate um, the difference. So I double click on the first line, the second line, and the third line. And now I am done. I can hit save. Let me do that one more time. I'm going to click on apply payment here and let's say that he's going to give me six thousand dollars this time. So now I'm going to do it uh, here once, twice, and then the third time to have the program generate another figure here, and that's it. And then I'm done. Save. Um, and if I do apply payment again, you can see that he owes $5,294.40. Uh, he owes $1,220.80 in one month and $4,073 another month. Now, if he was to pay me $6,000 right now, that's over the amount that he owes. This screen here will not generate another line to say that I owe him change. So if I do need to do that, I would have to do that at the transaction page. But if he's just giving you the exact amount of money, um, then you can do that here. Okay, so let's go through another example. Uh, but this time let's do a, uh, a customer who has multiple transactions and multiple layaways on those transactions. Uh, first off, let me go ahead and create a bunch of transactions so I can actually do it. And I'll just use my name here for an example. And I'm just typing in whatever. I'll do, I'll do three. But of course, you can have many, many more. Let's do weekly. Okay. So I have three different transactions for Jesse Beck. And um, this time I'm going to double click on the contact in the client tab. Um, that would get me to the contact screen. However, I could also go to file contacts and then find them. I can't see the contact right now because the contact screen is open. 
Um, but any way you want to get there, just find the contact. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the payments, and it's got a list of different transactions here. Uh, 1009, 1007, 1008. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the apply payment, and you notice here that uh, each month um, has a amount due associated with it. And the total amount that he owes is $95,086.40. So let's say he comes in one day and gives me just right off the bat $10,000 check. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put in $10,000, tab over to the pay type here, put in check, and now i got to double click on where I want those payments to be applied. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter, so I'm just going to start off with the first one. Um, so remember, I'm going to double click in here. Um, actually, he owes for this one right here $10,746. So if I double click in here, it's going to apply it to this 10746 and then when I double click on the second line it's going to calculate um, the difference between 10746 and the 10,000 and add it to the bottom line. Let me do it. So I double click in here, it's adding that to this 10,746. I'm going to double click on the second line and as you can see here it created one on the bottom, 74680. Okay, let me save this and let me come back in another day. And I'm going to click on the apply payment. And of course, my amount paid is different because he already um, has paid some money. So this time he's going to give me uh, 30000 So I'm going to type in 30000 here. I can do cash, check, visa, whatever. Now, some people may have the settings turned on that if I pay by check, I have to put in something in the authorization number. That's in Tools Change Company settings. Um, I do not have that turned on. So I could do a check here, and it will not force me to put anything in the authorization number. Okay, so $30,000, I'm going to apply it to um, the first three. So I'm going to double-click here, here, and oops, I accidentally clicked on the fourth line, but that's a good example. Um, it applied it to this month. Um, that was accidental, but whatever, it still works out. Um, so now, just to be sure, I don't know where I'm at, I'm just going to double click on the, this line here and see if it, uh, oh, there is some money left. Um, and Okay, so there's 7,473 remaining. So I'm just going to keep on double clicking and applying this to each, each month until it, it stops. Cool. And it's done, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the save. So it went ahead and applied the amount to every month um, if it had money. So I'm going to hit the apply payment again. Now we're at 55000 um, Same concept. Uh, let's say $20,000. I'm going to pay in cash. Uh, you can also do credit cards here too. So if you want Visa, just do uh, V for Visa and for MasterCard. Or you can double click in the pay type and choose between uh, the options that we have here. Uh, so cash, and I'm going to double click. Double click again. And then keep going until all the remaining has gone and then double click on the last line so that it uh, puts in the difference and then just hit save. And that's it.